Welcome to Cadillac Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night at City Field, the Mets in a season of bad losses had a really bad loss as they fell to the San Diego Padres 6-5. to five. This is a game the Mets had a 5-1 to one lead. Padres came back to take a lead on a Hunter Renfro home run in the 8th. Mets had the bases loaded and nobody out in the bottom of the ninth against Brad Hand but came up empty. Um, just the game that they're going to kick themselves at some point for for giving away, to tell you the truth. Robert Gesellman with his best effort, I think, all year long. Three runs and in six innings. Conforto on base four times with two hits. Flores knocked in three with a couple of hits and a walk. And the Mets uh, still lose this game because Gesellman left. The bullpen couldn't hold that lead. And Hunter Renfro, with all that power he showed in AAA, shows that he has some in the major leagues. Uh, a big home run off Josh Smoker, which was the difference. Um, I was fine. Uh, felt good. Uh, if Terry wanted me to go off for seventh, I could have. But, you know, he's the manager. And he, has, he makes decisions around here. This kid has really been struggling. Um, at times, you want him to leave with a good feeling. And he gave us six good innings. And... We just said, hey, look, he's, you know, he did exactly what we were hoping he'd do tonight and get us, get us to that point. Uh, you send him out, he gets in trouble, you got to go to Salas anyway. So we just said, let's just start the inning, and uh, he's done his job. Before the game today, we decided that Jerry was going to get a day, that Seawald was going to get a day. They'd been used quite a bit. So when we got to the seventh inning, we thought, hey, this is, you know, Fernando's guy to bring in right now and get, you know, get us to the eighth where we'll kind of, Mix and match in the eighth inning. Uh, two outs and nobody on. All of a sudden, you know, as we've seen before, all of a sudden they lost command. And then he got fatigued, as you saw. The velocity went down, dropped quite a bit. So we thought we'd go to a fresh arm and, and just didn't get it done. No, we've done it before. Um, I've got the, I got the two first outs. And then after that, the next batter made me throw a lot of pitches, which may have tired me a little bit. But we prepared for this and it's the same thing. It's kind of what happens when you continue to get behind hitters uh, over and over and over. They tend to hit the ball out of the ballpark, and that's something I'm just going to have to get better at. I mean, it seems like a lot here lately I've just been getting behind guys, and um, I'm going to have to do something different because it's definitely not working. Second game in a row, the Smoker, since he came back from the major league, from the uh, minor leagues, yeah. gave up a home run to his first batter. Well, Schimpf, uh, yesterday it was the first pitch that he threw, but again, it was a fat fastball to Hunter Renfro, who hit it, I don't know, 450 plus feet uh, to left field, and that was enough for the Padres. You have to give them a lot of credit. Cozart started the game, he almost was knocked out by the first batter. Uh, Conforto hit him in the ankle, and he stayed out there. He did give up the four runs uh, before he left, but uh, he gave him some kind of length, and then the bullpen for San Diego was much better than the Mets. Brandon Maurer pitched an effective eighth after an error, and then Hand got out of uh, monumental trouble in the ninth to get his third career save. So the rubber game of the series on Thursday night, Mets will throw Jacob deGrom against first-time starter Denelson Lamette for San Diego. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch Thursday night at 6 o'clock on SNY. That'll do it for Cadillac Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.